guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build another container ship. This one I've actually called the Artemis. So it's slightly bigger than the last one that we actually did. And you'll notice that there's a big difference with this one. It has cranes on it. So only a small amount of container ships actually have cranes on them. This is for the smaller docks and smaller dock areas around the world. They can actually come up and they can unload themselves. So if the cranes aren't big enough or they haven't got enough cranes and this, this ship is a little bit too big for that dock, those cranes can actually help out and, and get the actual cargo containers off the ship. So it's a little bit different, but most of the, con the con actual container ships don't have them. This is just a little bit of a different one. So the ship is a total of 171 blocks long, 29 blocks wide, and 53 blocks high. So it's a little bit bigger. It's still not absolutely massive, but it kind of fits into this small to medium sized one. It's a bit bigger than the Hermes that we built earlier. So the texture pack I'm actually using for this tutorial is LD Modern, which is my own texture pack. But it will work in all other texture packs. So feel free to use whatever you want. And just look at the actual blocks as colours rather than anything else. So if it's a blue colour, choose a blue colour. You know, one of your blue wools. Or if it's red, you know, choose a red one. It doesn't really matter. So you can kind of figure out the switch outs yourself. If you do end up using this build on a map or a server, please do give me credit for my design. All I remember this is just shove up a sign, probably in the bridge, saying original design by Lord Decker, built from Lord Decker's tutorial, something on those lines, and uh, then actually put one right next to it saying built by, and then shove your name right there next to me. Uh, that just helps me get my name out there. The more kind of bigger I get, I guess, as a YouTuber, and the more these videos get watched, the more likely it is I'm going to make more. If I don't get watched, I don't get found. I'll just stop making them. So it helps you guys out as well. It gets the name out. It makes more of a community kind of effort. And it means we can build a community around my channel. So if you can do that, that's absolutely amazing. But anyway, let's get started on this awesome tutorial. Okay, so just before we get started, what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you where to put the actual water line or how many blocks to build it underneath the water. As with all of my big tutorials and big ships, I'll be building it on land. Reason being, I can do stuff like, well, can't really show you now, but you know, I can do like freezes, I can just stop, you guys can pause the screen and figure out what's going on, and see the rough shapes and directions and things, um, it's, just, it's just generally easier, rather than, you know, as soon as I would look down there, that would all be in darkness, even as with a little bit of the shaders, but anyway, <laughs> you know, it just makes it a lot easier for you guys to see what's going on, it makes it easier for me to split up, and that's how I can split it up over here, as you can see, so people always ask how do I do them, just cut them up. But water level, I advise showing a level level of red and then blue, well, the actual black here. And now I've got the normal colours going up here, but you could if you want to just have the black. I'm using a light blue wool, this would be equivalent to water. It's just when you do put water here, you know, it just flows everywhere and it just makes a mess. Um, so that's where the water level would be, or down here. So what does that actually mean? Well, if you had a block right there, right next to the water, you'd go down one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So there you go, seven blocks. Oop. Let me just grab my thing. And I've got World Edit here and World Edit CUI, which is a mod, just to show you guys how many blocks. And it'll actually count down on this part here, so that'll help you out. I'll be using that throughout the tutorial. So that's how many blocks I'd recommend putting it down. Seven blocks. But uh, yeah, it's up to you where you want to put it. If you are building it on the Xbox, just go down seven blocks and then just shove down a block, down on that seven block, and just go, okay, that's going to be my starting point. I'm going to get rid of this water because I'm going to make a mess. But anyway, let's go on to the first layer. Uh, it's actually going to be the red. Then you've got a black layer and then you've got whatever colour you want. We'll actually be making it a different colour than blue as I've got here. But, um, you know, you can choose any colour. You could make this ship like 12 times. Or actually, I think you can make it 16 times. Yeah, we've got 16 different colours. Why not make it 16 times? You know, you could do something like that if you wanted to to make variation. If you wanted to like, like this design. If not, we've got uh, more on the way anyway. So let's get started. Okay, so for layer number one, make sure you've got your starting block, wherever it is. Um, but what we're going to do first is I'll just show you how to, or how we're going to do the tutorials. I'll show you how to do it on one side if you haven't done one of mine before. So I'll be going like one, two, three, one, one. And I'll say do it on the other side, and then we'll get to the next one. All you guys will do is pause the video, and then just copy it onto the other side like this. Because there's no real point to me showing you how to mirror it as such. I'll show you, you know, the center point and onto one side. You guys can figure it out on the other side. It just cuts the video length in half, and I'm sure this is going to be a long video anyway. Okay, so let's start placing blocks. So we're going to have four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to go out. I'm going to have five. One, two, three, four, and five. Two sets of four. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, then a 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4s, 1, 2, 3, and 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, so there we go, you got two sets of 4 there, then you're going to have a 3, 1, 2, 3, now a 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, then a 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, now this one is going to be 70, oh no, not 70, 68 blocks back, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using world edit to actually help me with this one but you guys on the console or that don't have world edit will have to count this out so you're just going to go to 68 blocks out so it's going to be quite a big one and these are really quite big ships as you can probably notice they go 67 68 so if you get to that point if you need to make sure that you pause now uh, if not we'll get moving so we're going to start moving inwards this time so we've got this long part here again use this ship for reference and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have five one two three four five a three one two three another three one two and three then a four one two three and four a three one two and three then a four one two three four a three one two three a four one two three and four a three one two and three then a two one two that should hopefully I really do hope it does it should be the middle there we go that actually looks like the middle well I'll find out in a bit so there we go, that should be your middle. So we're just going to leave a gap. So we're going to build the rudder as well, as you can see here. So we're just going to leave a gap of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then 1, 2, 3, and 4. And get rid of this bit. Like that. So what you guys are going to be doing is just mirroring the exact same on the other side. So there we go, you've got that so far. That's just half of it. So you have to go and start building the other side. Just make sure that you look here. If you get stuck, just watch the layer back again. In the top uh, left-hand corner, there'll be a marker. So you're just going to be doing this. So there we go. You know, you're basically just copying that. And then what you need to do is you need to fill in this floor because it's the bottom of the ship. So if I leave you guys to that, I'll catch you for layer number two. Okay, now for layer number two. So you should have already filled in all of this part. So you can see here and done it on the other side. If you haven't, make sure you pause, do that, and then we'll come to this part. So, come to the front. We go forwards by five. One, two, three, four, and five. So, you go forwards off that block like that. You're only going to leave three of these blocks showing. This is going to be your next starting block. So, place the block there. So, you've got three blocks here. One, two, three. Can be a little bit confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. <laughs> but what we're going to do is going to have seven here. So, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, that's seven counting that one there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully, that makes sense. And then we're just going to go normal as we've been doing before. We have three blocks. One, two, three. Then a four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a three. One, two, and three. Then a four. One, two, three, and four. Then two sets of three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Then a four. One, two, three, and four. Then we have a five. One. 2, 3, 4, and 5, a 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now we're going to have 74 blocks. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my magic stick of wonders, but what we're going to actually do is see how many far or kind of far past it is off the last layer. It's a lot easier to do than actually counting out these really long ones, or at least I've found it is. Uh, but if you do want to count it out, it's 74 blocks, but I'm just going to bring it right in line with that one, and that gives us 70, so we just add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 74 blocks. There you go, how easy is that? Anyway, what we're going to do next is we're going to start moving inwards again. We're going to have five first. One, two, three, four, and five. Then we're going to have a four. One, two, three, and four. And you'll notice there's a lot of gaps here, but we'll sort those out in a second. And um, we're going to have a three. One, two, and three. Then a two. One, two. Then a three. One, two, and three. And a two. One, two two, then we're going to have three sets of three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, so we've got three sets of three like that, so then we have a four, one, two, three, four, and then a one, like that, and then this back piece we're just going to build up, one, two, three, four, and what you'll notice is we've got loads of these gaps, well what we're going to do is just going to fill them up like this, let's fill them in, so you're going to have to go around and do all of this part, Fill up all of these, there's some at the front as well, but that's all we're going to do. Do that, do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next one. 
Okay, and now for lane number three, come to the front. What we're going to do is we're going to go forwards by two blocks. You're only going to leave one, so you're going to go to this one, add a block on the side. This will be a seven in total, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then we're going to have a five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then a four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to have three sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. Three sets of three, right there like that. Then we're going to have a four, one, two, three, and four. A three, one, two, three. Then we're going to have a four, one, two, three, and four. Then a six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then the next one is going to be 86 blocks. So right here, again, I'll just bring this on top. And it'll be on top of this one here. Is that the cargo ships are really, really flat on the sides to fit the most amount of cargo down. They're not really made for speed, to be honest. Well, they kind of are, but you know what I mean. I'd rather shove a big engine in and get more cargo in, because that's what makes the money. So if we just bring this on top to this one, we get 79. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which will bring us actually in line with that. That's weird. Something I don't usually do. But yes, well, that's what we're going to do. You're going to bring it in line with that one, like that. Then we're going to move inwards. We're going to have 4. Oh, actually, no, no, no. We're not going to have that. Add 2 more to this. I didn't think it was something I would usually do. Yeah, that's yeah. it's 86. It's 2 more than that, not, not 84. Don't listen to me sometimes. <laughs> listen to the numbers, goddammit. Uh, we're then going to move in with four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a three. One, two, three. And now what we're going to do is we're going to have six sets of two. So you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Six sets in total. One way you can count this is by shoving a block on top of them. So you go one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can tell that there's six sets of two. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. So six sets of two. Yeah, quite a lot of those. Then we have a three, one, two, three, a five, one, two, three, four, and five, then a one. And all you're going to need to do is just fill in any gaps that you see. There we go, there's a couple over here. Do the same on the other side. And actually, let's come over here as well. Build up the rudder by another four blocks. So it's pretty flat, to be honest. But yeah, do the same on the other side, and we will get onto the next layers. Okay, and now for layer number four, come to the front. We're going to go forwards by two blocks. So we have two blocks off this one here. I'm only going to show one of those, so again, put a block on the side. This one's going to be eight in total, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, count on that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there you go, just in case you guys get stuck. Then we're going to have a five. One, two, three, four, five. And then a four. One, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have a three. One, two, three. And a two. One, two. Two sets of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then you're going to have two sets of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So I almost messed up there. But you've got two sets of four like that. Then we're going to have a five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to have 94 blocks. So yeah, a long one. But again, I will just show you guys where it actually is rather than anything else. So if we drag this all the way back. There you go. You can see it's starting to take a while. That's the good thing about these big ships is that the further we go up, the more straight they get and... See this side here is just completely flat, but um, we're still going to do it layer by layer just because it makes sure that we get it all correct. So bring that on top like that. That gives us 89. We're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That'll give us 94 blocks. So that's all we need, 94. So we're now going to move inwards. We're going to have a 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then a 3, 1, 2, 3, a 2, 1, 2. Then we're going to have a 1, a 1, a 2, 1, 2. Two, a one, a one, a two, one, two. Then we're gonna have a four, one, two, three, and four. And now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna grab a block of iron and a block of gold. And uh, this is actually for the propeller, big ass propeller on this one. So right on this block here, we're actually gonna go four iron, one, two, three, and four, two blocks of gold, and this is just gonna go out diagonally twice on each of these. Like this. Uh, another thing you can do if you want to is just make a triangular one like that. That one always looks kind of quite cool as well. But you can do this if you want to. It's really up to you what shape. But these are derived off Jag Thunder's designs, if you guys have seen those before. And then on the rudder, add four blocks. So do the same on the other side, and then we'll get on to the next one. Okay, now for layer number five, come to the front. You're just going to go forwards by one block like that. And 
that's pretty much it. That's going to be the starting block this time. Uh, no ones on the side. We're just going to then have a nine. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you see that's directly on top like that. Then we're going to have a five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to have a three. One, two, three. Two, one, two. I don't know why I went on top. There we go. We just got a normal two like that. Four sets of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four sets in total. So again, you can do the this thing. One, two, three, and four in total. And then we got a four. One, two, three, and four. A five. One, two, three, four, and five. Then a ninety-nine. So again, let's do it the easy way. Let's just drag this all the way back. See where it lands. But so close to getting 100 blocks, just dead straight. So yeah, drag this on top until we get all the way back to on top of that one. That will give us 96. Just go one, two, three, three blocks further than the last one. Nice and easy, I think. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to start moving inwards. We're going to have six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're going to have two sets of two, one, two. One, two, put your two sets of two like that. We're then going to have tons of sets of one. We're actually going to have seven ones in total. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to have three blocks. One, two, three. So it just covers up this part there. I'll have to double check on that one. Have a look. But anyway. What we're going to do for the rudder? One, two, three, four. Yeah, nice and boring, isn't it? Um, so there we go, another couple bits to fill in, but do the same on the other side, and we will get on to the next one. Okay, now for layer number six, come to the front, place a block directly on top, and then you're going to go back one. This is going to be the actual bulbous bow that you can see here. So actually just building that part. So you've got one on top of that last block, that's going to be moving backwards like that. We're then going to have a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So again, that'll just be moving backwards. But then it's pretty much going to be normal. We're going to have three blocks, one, two, three, another three blocks, one, two, and three. Then you have a two, one, two, then a three, one, two, three. Then you're going to have a two, one, two. Then you have two sets of three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then you have a four, one, two, three, and four. Then a five, one, two, three, four, and five. Now you're going to have 106 blocks. Yeah. So. Again, I'll just show you where to put it, <laughs> unless you want to count 106, which if you want to, um, feel free to do so. Practice counting. Counting with DACA. No, no, not really. Yeah, just just bring this back, it'll be fine. Just, just keep, on, keep on bringing it back. Keep on bringing it back forever. Yep, there we go. So if you've got this on top, you'll get 101. Add five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Much easier, isn't it? So just add five blocks to the one that's on top. Anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to start moving inwards. We'll have five. One, two, three, four, and five. Two sets of two. One, two, one, two. Then you have a one, a one. Then we're going to have two going across the ship. So there you go. Two going across like this. And another two going across the ship. So one, two. Then we're going to have one, one. So one and one. So it should just go on top. So you've got a slightly different bit here. There you go. You can see that. It's a little bit weird, but um, yeah. Still learning how to do these <laughs> when I've built this one. So there we go, just fill in those bits as normal. Now, this time on the rudder, we're actually going to have three blocks, and it's going to be, let's have a look here, there we go, just on the back one, so you're going to leave this block off. So it started to change at least, but do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, so now we're on to lane number seven, so come to the front, we're just going to leave one block, and then that's going to be our starting one. Right there. It's actually going to be a six in total, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Again, this is part of the bulbous bow at the front. So they go one, two, three, four, five, and six. They're going to have a four, one, two, three, and four. A three, one, two, and three. Then two sets of two, one, two, one, two. Then we're going to have a three, one, two, and three. Then a two, one, two, a three, one, two, three. Another three, one, two, and three. Then a four, one, two, three, and four. A five, one, two. Two, three, four, and five, and then a hundred and eleven. One, one, one. Yep. So uh, let's just do it the easy way, shall we? <laughs> let's just bring this all the way back. See where it actually lands. 
I think this is a lot easier for you guys, but uh, yeah, I haven't actually had any feedback on, on if this is easier for you guys or if I should actually just count out 111. I don't know. But I, I think this is easier anyway. It at least makes it a bit quicker. There we go. So if you have it on top, get 107. We're just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. 111 blocks. There we go. Let's deselect that one. Then we're going to start to move inwards. We're going to have 4. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then we're going to have a 3. 1, 2, and 3. Then a 2. 1, 2, a 1, a 1, 2 going across the ship, just like we had before, like this. And then we're going to have 3 going across the ship, 1, 2, 3, then a 1. So we've got 1 here. And then what we're going to do, I think we're just going to build up this. Yeah, if we just build up this for the time being, I'm pretty sure it's just built up. Um, but then again, do the same on the other side, you've got a massive amount of area to fill up on the back. But yeah, you know, you guys can you know don't know how to do that. So do all of that, do it on the other side, and we'll get to the next one. Okay, now for lane number eight, so you're gonna leave four of these: one, two, three, and four. Go to the fifth. That's where your starting block's gonna be. So you got four of these: one, two, three, and four. There we go of that. And then this is actually gonna be three blocks in total. So one, two, and three. Then you have two sets of two: one, two, one, two. Then you're gonna have a three: one, two, and three. Then three sets of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. So you have three sets of two. A four. One, two, three, and four. Then a two. One, two. Then a four. One, two, three, four. Then a five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now 117 blocks. So again, we're going to do it the easy way. Just drag this on top. And you can see how straight this run is. And how the uh, cargo ships are actually made like this. It's basically for the maximum amount of hold going all the way down through the ship. So if we keep on dragging this one on top until we get to... There you go, that one there. That's 113. Just go 1, 2, 3, 4. Go. Just, just add 4 blocks. Deselect that. And then we're going to go start moving inwards. We're going to have 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Then a 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to have a 1, a 2, 1, 2... And then we're going to have a 1, then 2 going the other way, 1, 2, and then we're going to have 7 going across the back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And right on this back piece here, we're just going to have 2 blocks on this rudder piece now, that's it, to finish it up. So, just fill in that as well, and do the same on the other side, and we will get on to the next one. Okay, so we're now on to layer number 9, which is actually the black layer, we're actually halfway through the layering of the ship. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but we have got eight layers of this one, got eight layers of this one, and then this is the ninth. So, you guys are going to be using black wool or some sort of black material, but because of YouTube editing, all of that fun stuff, if I place a block here, you guys cannot tell where it is, but if I go to the side, you can definitely see this one there. Um, it's just the way that black works with video, you know, it, it just doesn't show up. So, you guys will be using the black. I'm actually going to be showing this in blue, because look, you can definitely tell there's something there that, you know, you can tell. So it's just a lot easier, but you guys will be using black. So that's just for you guys to know. So it's just that line there. And you should also be out of the water on the last one. Anyway, what we're going to do is going to be one block back, and then this is going to be a starting block. And it's just going to be a one. We're then going to have five sets of two. So you're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Five sets. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. There you go. And then what we're going to do is going to have a three. One, two, three, a two, one, two, a three, one, two, three, then a four, one, two, three, four, and a five, one, two, three, four, and a five. Then we're going to have 123 blocks. Yeah. So that's going to be a long one. So we're just going to drag this directly on top, all the way back, and it will take a pretty long time, to be honest. So there we go. Keep on dragging this one back, and drag it back, and drag it back, and drag it back. And we'll get there in the end. There we go. Put that one in. There we go. And there we go. If we're on top here, uh, how much did I say? 123. We're just going to add four blocks. One, two, three, four. So add four blocks onto that. That'll bring you in line with the next one there. And now we're going to start moving inwards. Oh, actually. Yeah, that is, sorry. 123 blocks. I think it said 124. I don't even know. But that's that's correct. <laughs> Where we are right there is correct. So we're going to move inwards. We're going to have four. One. Two, three, and four. Two sets of two. One, two, one, two. 
Then we're going to have three sets of one, 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 one. And then we're going to have a two. I think it's a two this way, and then five across. Yes, it's a two that way, even though I haven't written it down. That's five across. One, two, three, four, five, like that. So we'll go across the back. Yeah, that is correct. I almost did something very, very strange. But just do the same on the other side. And again, you're just going to be filling up this part. So fill that up as well. And uh, after you've done that, we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, so we're now on to layer number 10, which is our coloured layer. Now, with cargo ships, you can actually choose pretty much any colour you got. <laughs> you know, it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, the main ones that you'll see are like reds, greens, blues, cyan type colours. Uh, occasionally orange, but pretty much anything goes. You know, choose whatever colour you want. I'm going to be going with green because why not? You know, <laughs> that's, that's it. But uh, obviously you guys have a black layer. This is my blue one. What you're going to do to start off this layer is put a block directly on top. Then we're just going to go one and one. Then we're going to have three sets of two. So one, two, one, two, one. Two, we got those three sets of two like that. Then we're gonna have a three, one, two, three, a two, one, two. Then we're gonna have a five, one, two, three, four, and five. A three, one, two, three, a five, one, two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna have 127. So I need to grab my axe somewhere. <laughs> there we go. So we'll just do the same thing we've been doing, doing. So see how many it's over. Much easier to do. So I'll keep on grabbing this one back. And this one does go for quite a while. But we've got quite an easy run after this, really. You know, just a couple more layers, probably like eight. <laughs> I say a couple more layers, yeah. Uh, about eight layers, I think we got. But most of them are like straight like this, and then we've got uh, other stuff to do. So anyway, we get 124. Just go one, two, three. That'll give you 127. So then I'm just going to deselect that. That's good. So what we're going to do now? We're going to have, or well, we're going to start moving inwards. Have four, one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to have two sets of two. One, two, one, two, and then a one. And then 13 across the back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, yeah, again, fill up these parts. Do the same on the other side. And we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, and now for layer number 11. Come to the front. Place a block directly on top of the last one. Add one block to each side. So we get three going right across. Three going across like that. We're then going to have a 1. And then we're going to have a 2. 1, 1, 2. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Got a bit of a cough at the minute. And then we're going to have a 1. And then a two, then a three, one, two, and three. We're gonna have a two, one, two, a three, one, two, and three. Two sets of five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna have 132 blocks, yes. So let's just grab this one back all the way, all the way back. Yep, yeah. and this isn't even the smallest of them. I've got, I think, I've got two larger ships after this, cargo wise. <laughs> so <laughs> probably another one to add to that that's going to be like 400 blocks long we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how we go with these uh, um, they're quite easy I find them really easy well, in, in a way anyway we're going to have 130, 129 there we need 132 so go 1, 2, 3 and that is it just have 3 blocks nice and easy we're going to move inwards, we're going to have 3 blocks 1, 2, 3 then we're going to have 2, 1, 2 and then this, uh, according to my thing, it's going to be on the back. What's this doing? Ah, so we've got two there. Sorry, guys. Yep, so if we just go back to this point. So we've got this long run, which is just three blocks over. We're then going to have another set of three. One, two, three. We're then going to have a two. Another two. One, two. And then this just joins on, going across. So let's just go straight across like this. There we go. That that makes more sense. I was getting myself confused. Um, yeah, it's just an extra three, two, two here, but then it just it just gets connected on. So starting to flatten this back. So do the same on the other side, and we're going to the next bit. Okay, and now for layer number twelve, come to the front, and you're just going to have one block on its own forwards of the last one. So just one block coming forwards, like that. Then we're going to have two going across. So place a block directly on top of the last one here, then add one to the side. So we've got two going across, across the ship like this. Now it just goes back into normal mode. It's going to have 1, 2, 1, 2. So you go 1, 2, 1, 2, like that. Then we have two sets of 3. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Then we're going to have a 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then a 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now what we're going to do is going to have 137 blocks. Yay. <laughs> so 
Bring this one all back to there. Oh, yeah. That's my uh, new jingle for bringing these blocks back. It's, it's called bring those box, box back to there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, dear. My ship's actually becoming Christmas colours as well, which is the time I'm recording this, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, let <laughs> me get that on top of there. Add two blocks. One, two. 137 blocks. Yay. So we're going to start moving inwards. We're going to have three blocks. One, two, three. Then we're going to have two. One, two. And then this just goes straight across the back, like joining on. So you get this kind of, like the L shape, I guess you can call it. Uh, so we just get that. So do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, so now for layer number 13. Come to the front, place a block directly on top, add two to each side. So you can see it starts to really widen out on this one now. So we've got five going across in total on the front. Now we're going to have a one, and a one, and then we're going to have three sets of two. One, two, one, two, one, and two. What we're going to do is going to have a three, one, two, three, then a four, one, two, three, and four. Now a five, one, two. Two, three, four, five, and 140 blocks now. Really long one. Yep. So bring that block back. Oh yes. That's kind of like a London version of that really bad jingle that I came up with. Don't know. I, I have no idea what to say in these parts to be honest, guys. Um, as you can probably tell by me, my, my going pretty insane. This is actually the third time I've done this. I got this without audio. Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> It wasn't my fault, it was Shadow Play's fault. <laughs> I blame Shadow Play, it just didn't record it for some reason. Oh well. Right. And <laughs> that anyway. So you 139. Add one more block, you get 140 blocks. Real. Nice and easy. So what we're gonna do is gonna move in, we're gonna have three blocks, one, two, three. Then what we're gonna do is gonna have nineteen across, so I think that's on directly on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, two nineteen. That was a nineteen. I did not say twenty. So it's to 19. There you go. Good. Thank God. Right, so do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, and now we're on to layer number 14. Come to the front. Just go forwards off by one block, and add one to each side. So it gives you three blocks in total. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have two going this way. So you're going to go across again. I'm just got those two going across. It's quite a flat front. Uh, but now we're going to go back to the normal way of doing things, which is just like, front to back, I guess. Uh, we're going to have one, two, and one. Then we're going to have three blocks. One, two, three. A two, one, two. And then a four. One, two, three, and four. A six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We're going to have 142 blocks. So yet again, just drag this one back into eternity. Oh yeah. Just keep on bringing this block back. All the way. I don't know what kind of accent this is, but uh, it's quite a deep accent. Oh, bring this block back. Do it, oh, damn it, go it, dog, damn it. It's quite actually hard to get angry on that accent. Uh, <laughs> anyway, 141, add one block, you got 142. Nice and easy. Then you're going to move inwards, you're going to have three blocks, one, two, three. And what we're going to do is we are going to have that one added onto there so you just going to add one to there it's actually going to move outwards we're going to have 17 across so you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 so you're going to have one here one here and then 2, 3 so you're going to have 3 going across there we go so you get those kind of L shapes hopefully that makes sense so you're starting to move out just uh, a little bit it does just move out a little bit so do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next one. Okay, now for layer number 15, come to the front, go forwards by one block. You're then going to have two going across the ship. Like you can kind of see this pattern that's, um, I guess, imagine. Uh, you're also going to have another two, and that's also going across. Now we're going to have a normal two. So by normal, I mean going forwards and backwards. So there you go. You need to freeze that. So you've got one forwards, two going across, two going across, then two normal direction. Now we're just going to do the normal direction stuff. So you got one, then you're going to have a two, one, two, then a three, one, two, three, then a four, one, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Then a six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, then 143 blocks. Oh yeah, long. Uh, this one I think because the last one was 142, I'm pretty sure that it's just 
directly on top, but because it's gone forwards by one on the front, that's why it's got an extra block. That's it. That, that's, that's pretty much it. I don't think it's extending any more on the back, because the back does kind of flatten out quite quickly with these type of ships. So if you keep on bringing this one back forever. Uh, <laughs> at least it feels like that anyway. There we go. There we go. And that is 143 blocks. As I said. Yeah. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks. One, two, three. And then you're going to have 19 going across the back. So it's just over by one. On that back strip. Right. Right there. Like that. So do the same on the other side. And we'll get on to the next one. Okay, and now for layer number 16, come to the front, place one directly on top, and then add two to each side, so we're going to have five going across. There you go, really wide again, as I was, I was saying before. We're going to have four sets of one now, one, two, three, and then four. So hopefully you guys can see what's happening here as well, uh, just to try and meet these two uh, opposing circular pieces. I don't know how to explain those. Yeah, uh, but then you have two sets of two, so you got one, Two, one, two, like that. And then you're gonna have a four. One, two, three, four. And a six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And 145. <laughs> 145. So this is just directly on top, um, and it will stop at the end, but I'll show you guys that anyway to make sure and double check on my side. So, yeah. But it, it doesn't seem to extend on this back piece really. I don't think it does anyway. Pretty sure it doesn't. I should know I built the bloody ship, but um, yeah, it should be fine. <laughs> Maybe. It's been a while. <laughs> there we go. So that is 145. Yay. So we're going to move in. We're going to have four now. One, two, three, and four. And then this will just go straight across the back. Very simple. Very, very simple. So there we go. Just do the same on the other side, and we'll get on to the next bit. Okay, now for layer number 17. Come to the front. You're going to move forwards. And add one to each side. So you've got three going across like that. You have two going across as well. So the three going across, the two going across. Now back into the normal stuff. Four sets of one. So you've got one, two, three, and four. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have three and three. One, two, three, one, two, and three. Then a six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So guys, I've got a cough. Ah, good God. That's the good thing about being able to mic them, mute the mic, <laughs> at least. So there we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have 146, 148, which is, um, oh, is that one more on this side? I don't know. can't remember. What are we doing? Where am I? <laughs> oh, I don't know anymore. All right. Keep on bringing this. God damn luck back. We'll get there in a bit. We're actually almost, or we are, we're on the main... Um, run, as it were, like the last one before the actual deck. So, we are doing really well. You know, we're we're well into it. Um, yeah. So just go to the end, which will give you 147. Add one block. 148. Good. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to have just three here. One, two, three. And that'll just go straight across the back. So there we go. Straight across the back like that. Uh, so obviously you guys will be doing it on the other side, but we are on this deck now. What we're actually going to be doing is building up the front section here because it's raised slightly at the front, it's raised slightly at the back, so we'll get those two done. We can then put in the decks and stuff. So, um, yeah, get on to that. Okay, now for lane number 18 at the front. So, come to the front, place a block directly on top of the last one, add three blocks to each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. That will give you seven going across, so ridiculously wide, really. Then what we're going to do is going to have four blocks. One, two, three, four. By four blocks, I mean four sets of one, sorry guys. One, two, three, four. It's quite late at the minute, and I want to get this tutorial done so I can edit it. <laughs> but yeah, four sets of one like that. Then you're going to have a two, one, two, then a three. One, two, one, god damn it. Right, one, two, three. There we go. You see that? One, two, three, four, two, and then a three blocks there. Then you're going to have two sets of six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, Two, three, four, five, and six. So that's it for that one. We're just going to go straight to the other side. And just do the same. One, two, three, and four. And two, one, two. Then you're going to have a three. One, two, three. Two sets of six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
Oh, God. So what you're going to do is, if you grab your light grey wall, this is where your main deck is, but we're going to have a little raised deck as well, which is where the anchor system goes. So if you just count five of these, one, two, three, four, five, go to the sixth, and then just join this across with light grey wall. And uh, what I want you guys to do is fill in everything forward of this just with light grey wool. And that's it. So after you've done that, I will catch you for the next layer on the top of this. Okay, and now for layer number 19 at the front. What you do is on top, you're going to place down one block. Then this is going to add four on each side. One, two, three, four. I'm just overhanging by one. One, two, three, and four. So it's ridiculously wide now. Nine blocks across on a ship is pretty nuts. That's what these are, you know, nuts. Anyway, you're now going to have three sets of one, one, two, and three of those in total. Now you're going to have a two, one, two, then a three, one, two, three, another three, one, two, three, and then a six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So if you want to do it on the other side as well, we go one, 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 two, three, and six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, what I did in mine as well is I just joined her across these, just because it made it look a little bit smoother. Uh, it's kind of up to you. So you just add in a block on each of the corners where they join in, so that it just wraps around it. It's up to you, really, if you want to do that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I did it on that. Yeah, I did do it on that. So, um, yeah, it's up to you if you want to do that. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to zoom all the way back down to there. We're going to get this back raised part done. Uh, the next bit we're going to do after that, after we've raised this, is this big deck here. It's nice and empty, nice and easy. Then we can get onto the front, finish that up, get the cranes done, get the back done. We're pretty close, guys. Okay, so if you zoom all the way down to the bottom, or back, or rear, or stern, or whatever you want to call it, um, what we're going to do next is, let's see if we just do it from this point. Let's go from here, go one, two, three, and just bring this all up, because it's all just three extra layers. It's pretty much on top. But how many are we going to go forwards? Well, that is the question. We're going to go 17, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And build that up to a total height of 3. It's just an extra bit, so you're just adding on 3 blocks. Like this. There we go. Now if you go onto the inside of this piece, we're just going to add 2 sets of grey. And then we're going to go forwards. I can't remember if this is grey. Yeah, it is grey. That's good. We're going to go forwards, and this is just going to go straight across. Let's go to here. I'm just going to have this one piece of grey. And then this will go on top, and this will be 3 up. There we go. So we just wander around this and just build it up. And you can do the whole thing like this if you want to. Or whatever. I don't know what's easier for you guys, but yeah, just build up all of this up. It's very simple. It's a very nice ship in, in the way that it's got some very simple parts on it anyway. But you can kind of see the simple shape that there are in the cargo ones compared to, say, the military destroyers and things. Um, to build them in Minecraft, you want them to look a little bit rough and stuff. Um, anyway, what you're going to do here is this one's just going to be free high, but that one's only going to be too high. So, build all this up. There we go. Get all that up. That's just too high. All these too high, you're going to add two pieces of ladder. So, add your ladder going up. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to fill in this ground from this too high piece. So, you kind of get this wall uh, in here. I wonder if we can just grab that and should be able to. So I'm just going to do replace 0 with 35 colon 8, which is uh, light grey wool. So world edit makes it a lot easier. Apologies for those guys that have to place those 393 blocks by hand. I do feel sorry for you. I really do. Um, I don't really <laughs> get a PC. <laughs> but um, that's it. That's it for the little back section. That will give us a raised bit. Obviously we've got the actual tower or main bridge and things to actually uh, build on top of it. But we're going to be doing that last. As you can see, it's a pretty simple box shape. They're really boxy, these. Uh, but we'll just fill in this deck here. Okay, so for filling in this deck, what you're going to do, grab your light grey wall again, and just from this point, right underneath these, uh, this ladder, go one, two, three, going forwards. This will just give you a border of two. If that makes sense. Uh, so you get this border of two. Going around. And this is just on the back piece as well. There we go. And go across there. And it also goes on the sides as well, you get a border of two, so you get this kind of two going all the way this way. So I'm just going to do a world edit just to speed things up so I can show you exactly where you need to place the blocks. And not waste too much of your time um, placing blocks, if that makes sense, because you can always pause the video. Uh, but there we go, if we just do it to here and here even. And just do, I'm going to do exactly the same command, replace. 
zero, which is air with 130. Five, thirty, thirty-five, come on, eight. Yeah, that's it. And then we're going to go across here with a border of two. So you can see this very common theme. We're just bordering this with two. So we're doing just two lots of grey. Uh, this just provides a very safe walkway around and stuff. So um, yeah, if you just fly all the way down here as well, as you can see, you guys will take a while to actually fill this in. This is why world it. it's really easy. Uh, why I couldn't build ships at the race the rate that I actually do about it. <laughs> it's, it's the truth. There we go. So we get that. So you get this big empty space. What are you going to do with this empty space? Well, you've either got uh, grey wool or you've got cobblestone. Um, depends if you're using my pack. My pack has cobblestone which looks pretty good for this. I tend to use the cobblestone for it. I prefer it so that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the cobblestone. So here we go. Just fill in this piece here and I'm just going to do replace the air which is zero with four and uh, there we go that's it 2159 blocks is what you need to place unlucky um, but that will give you this big area now I'll be going over how to stack the crates what, what crate sizes and stuff like that at the end I'll show you some examples of a load of ships I've done uh, the next thing I'm going to do is grab iron bars I'm going to bring those all the way from this point right to the end now Again, I'm going to use World Edit for this, so we'll yeah, fly down here. Also notice that I've got a cape, and I'm pretty sure this is a Mojang cape. It's not mine. I, I've not done anything. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I don't know why I've got it, but if you place zero, 101. There you go. That'll give you that. So there's 120 fence uh, iron bars at least to place in there. And you're going to do the iron bars on the other side as well. Um... So yeah, just continue to bring this down this way until you get to here and then bang. Put that on and then deselect that. That gives you the basis for the actual main ship. Looking pretty cool. That's 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 like the basics part of it. We've done the real basics. Now what it is is just detailing parts. So we're gonna just move from front to back. Really easy. These cranes are really easy. I'm just gonna show you how to make one, then just copy and paste so yeah let's go on to this part okay and now for the anchor system so I'm going to be using some of the meta type stuff that I've got I've got the never break one in my pack which um, I can't quite remember the actual value of it uh, bear with me one second let's have a look I'm pretty sure it's like six or something isn't it so if you do have world edit and you have um, optifine and you have my texture pack yes that's, that's a lot of specific things you need um, I know some of you do it's 139 colon 6, I believe, for that one. And for the silverish one, it's 139 colon 2. Just give you the metallic one. Pretty cool. So, anyway, what you're going to do is grab your cobblestone wall. If you don't have cobblestone wall, um, you can use iron bars, you can use fence, you can use anything. But basically, where you have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 blocks, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, and then go down from this here, you're going to cut out. Put in one of those cobblestone pieces or something. They're going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Add two to the side here, two to the side there, and actually that's wrong. Take that off. Don't add two, just add one. Next one you're going to add two. That's it. Just to make this really big anchor. That's what I've come up with. So that's what you need to do. So do the same on the other side as well. We're just going to cut down. That seems a bit wrong. Did I not copy something on the other side? I didn't copy something on the other side. Alright, well. Right here, if I do, what did I actually do? One, two, three, and four. <laughs> this is so complicated. Three. This is what happens when uh, I rush through things. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. That's right. And then here, right here, there. That's what I need to cut out. So there we go. You can fix it. One, two, three, four, five. Add one to each side. The next one, add two. Like that. Okay. So if we go to the other side anyway, because that's what we've been doing. So we're on, as the front, again you can use the ship in the background. Uh, with cobblestone you're going to cut out two here, then moving towards the front you're going to cut out another two, cut out another two, and this one here is going to have one on each side, then two going this way, like this, so you get the box. So that's what you're going to have, pattern wise, that's that's your pattern. Uh, you've got two here, two here, and this one's kind of two, but it's not, um, yeah. Then grab your silverish cobblestone wall or normal one, put a stone slab on the top, 
grab your anvils. This is like a Jag Thunder design, by the way, for the ankle, uh, the ankles, for the anchors. Um, then put those on, put those on, and one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, and then it'll go into the ship. So you just move down with two blocks, and just do some step patterns like this. And I'm just going to leave a gap right in here. It's going to fly up, but there you go. You get some step patterns, and shove your anvils down there, so that's a Jag version of his, his anvils, using those for the chains, really work. Uh, so on the other side, again, you're going to have two this way, two forwards, then one here, then a box, then a 3 by 3 box onto that. Maybe that makes it easier. I think it probably does. It's just that I didn't think about that when doing this. <laughs> so, put one in the middle, put one on top, grab your anvils, go one, two, one, two, one, two. And this one goes here, this one goes here, this one goes here, and then two goes down. Make a couple steps with your cobblestone or grey or... You know, that kind of colour. And jump through the hole that you made. If you made a hole, if you didn't, <laughs> then don't. But uh, there we go. Put those in. That'll give you the main chain system. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it for those. They're quite quite nice and easy, I think. Uh, now, there's a couple of these little uh, things where they actually tie off the ship. It doesn't matter where they go, so we're just going to plunk one right here. Why not? Uh, but if you guys want to know where that is. So, from this point here, we've got one, two, three. And they got one, two, three. So it's just gone one, two, and it's on the third one. We place down a block. We actually need a never break block instead. I mean, to put another block on top of that, and then put your slabs around the side like this. We'll create that one. So let's do the same on the other side as well. It doesn't matter where this one goes. I'm sure this is different from the other one that I've done over there, but it doesn't matter. Add some variation. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then put these in like that. So, all we've got to do now at the front is we've got to put in this guard, and we've got to put in the tower. So I'll probably do the tower first, I'm sure I'm going to get confused on it. Okay, and for the pole thing, <laughs> what you can do is you're going to have a free block gap from the front, so find the middle. And if you get stuck, you can use this whole thing as a reference. Then go one, two, three, and then go to the fourth, and you're going to make a cross shape. So you've got a free block gap on the front, like that. Add your stone slabs around the sides this and then we're going to do it on the back you're going to add an extra block I think I can't quite remember but anyway just in the middle add three blocks one two three then add three lots of cobblestone wool one two three and four sorry four four lots of cobblestone wool if you don't have that just use normal fence for this and then we're going to do is you're going to add three, four lots of fence on top one two three four and I'm going to use the silverish one for that as well which is 85 colon one so it's the first metadata of that if not never brick fence just use never brick fence for all of this could use never brick fence or similar. Now right here you're just going to have a block here and then a slab there. So it's just a slab there and a slab there. Or it might be a slab. That's it. Yeah. So you've got a slab up here, the slab on top of that one, then a slab down there. So that's correct. But that's it for the little tower thing. Okay, and now for the main front guard piece here. This is actually just to stop the containers if they do end up falling. For example, they wouldn't crush something here or not I don't know what they're they're pretty, pretty much just to protect it yeah let's go with that so just on this point here go in one grey and then we're going to go straight across one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen this is going to be a total of nine high so you got one two three four five six seven eight nine 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 <laughs> I almost got there there you go you got a nine in total okay go to the other side do that one, just do set four and select and grab your stop cobblestone slabs, leave three of these, one, two, three. Go to the next one, do three slabs, one, two, three. Then you're gonna have three blocks in the middle, one, two, three, then you have three slabs on the other side, one, two, three. So it all works out. To make this kind of rounded piece. We're done. <laughs> we're done with that. Let's get on to the cranes. So we're gonna put in three of these cranes, but um I'll just show you how to make one. Okay, now for the actual cranes. We're just gonna do this first one on the Left hand side. I've done one on the left. No, one on the right. I can't even think today. One on the right hand side and two on the left hand side. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, this is just. I saw a design like this. Looks kind of cool. So I'm building it. <laughs> so yeah. So what we're going to do first is from these, this kind of front part, we're just going to count back nine. So I'm just going to put slabs on top to show exactly how I'm counting these. Though it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you make, mess up the position of this, who cares? No one will ever know. Even I won't know. If I saw it, I honestly wouldn't. So you're going to go one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now right here, this is where we're going to have four blocks. We're going to go one, two, three, and four. And get rid of this. Uh, and I actually need to double look at this. Yeah, it's just too wide, isn't it? Yeah. So, or is it? Yeah, it's just too wide. It's just too wide like this. So it's four by two. And it's going to be nine high. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine in total. So it's not hollow on the inside. Um, this one you have to really dangerously carry, go up a ladder on uh, on this side of the ship, which you could easily fall and die. Glorious. Um, anyway, let's keep on going up here like that. So that'll give you this really basic tower box thing. Okay, so I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of cuts in this one. It's, it's a bit more complicated than I thought. Okay, you've got two here. It goes out and we have two. And we have two. It's like the, the small cabin-y type area. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a 4x4 four four box on top of this. So you go 1, 2, 3, and 4, obviously. And it just Well, actually just a box, basically. So that's just that bit that goes out around like this. You add slabs in here and a slab in here. So there and there. Now this one is a total of nine high, not nine high, four high. So you have one, two, three, four. So just add three blocks onto it, like that, like that, and here as well. So that'll give you the basic part. We need now need to make the next bit. So we've got two slabs underneath here, and uh, this goes two, then three blocks. So we just need glass, we need to go two pieces of glass here, one piece there, and then have two blocks. Then at the back you just have two. So two here and then glass, I'm pretty sure that's it, let's have a look. Yeah, that's it. So, then this goes too high, with your glass. Like that. So just get that in total. Then just put slabs on top of this glass. Like that, then we're going to have two, two, and two. So it fits into this piece like that. Let's have another look. There we go. Now you can put slabs on top of this and you put blocks inside here and then you add those onto the top. And I don't think you put slabs you do put slabs on the top. Okay. Then put slabs on the top. That gives you the cab. It's so strange. Uh, now where's the door on this? It's a couple of blocks up. Okay. If you grab um ladder and you grab a wooden door. You have to go with a wooden door for this one. Uh, just plonk this down, have this go all the way up. So when you get to this point, add an extra one, cut out a piece, and put in a wooden door. And when you go on the inside, you can actually fill up you know, down here if you want to, you know, just fill it all up. And you can then put in an extra floor down here. So you can have it lower down if you want a bigger floor. Um, then what I did on mine is I had a ladder here. I do remember this now. And then I went up to here to get to the control room piece like that. Um, so that's what you can do if you want. If you want more than two, you can always you know, lower this. You've got an extra couple of blocks, so you can actually lower it by quite a few. Um, it just depends on on what you kind of want or what you need. You know, you won't need too much heat down here, but you can have controls and stuff, I guess, um, or engine parts or schematics or I don't know what they're having there. Don't ask me. <laughs> no idea. Um, right now, we're going to get onto the arms of this. Uh, well, actually, first we're going to grab uh, glass panes. So we're going to shove these on the side. It makes it look rounded. I think it does anyway. But yeah, now we're going to put the arms on. That should be really easy. I hope. Okay, and now for the actual crane arm of it, I guess. <laughs> Basically, go to the back here. We've got this four section. Go down by one and go to the side here. And what we're going to do is going to go 11 this way. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then right here, I put a slab there. And then just put a button on, like that. Pretty cool. Same on the other side as well. We go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we're going to do the same thing. Slab here, slab here, and a button. Got that there. Then you're going to move inwards. We're going to have 9. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then move in again and do 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So here, it's going to double this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now across these bits, we're just going to join across there, and the same here as well. So I'll just join it up. Pretty cool, nice and simple. Now I've got a little bit of a walkway type thing underneath here, anyway. So right here, just double cut out, double cut out. 
Let's cut out a door. And this is why, actually, I realised why this door is in this space so that we can actually go to the here. We're just going to cut out a door right underneath there. Uh, you can see where we are. You know, it's just on top of this piece. I think it's two lots. Yes, yeah, two lots. Just go out with slabs, just double this up. Right, with two lots of slabs, put on your iron bars around it. And then with this one, I actually went with an iron door. It doesn't matter. But that gives you this little um, section thing over here. You can look out on. I think that's kind of cool. So yeah. Got that. Uh, what else do we need to do? Right, we need to grab never brick fence and an anvil and cobblestone slab. Yep. So we're just going to go off the end of this. We're just going to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven will do. Yep. And then just make a full slab or well, full block and then just have a slab here. So you've got these floating slabs. And then you can put some anvils on top of those. And then move up. This one's a Jag Thunder design. Uh, he actually did this kind of design. I just thought it looked really cool. And really worked with this anyway. So I doubled that up put that on there. But that is it for the little crane. So where do you put the other two? Okay, well, how are we going to do this? I'm going to use World Edit to show you on the iron bars. You yes. So I'm, I'm not going to be showing you how to build these. I'm just going to be leaving my blank. Uh, they're exactly the same, so you can just watch this section again, basically. You know, it's really easy. But from here, count this iron bar to here. There you go, you're going to have 35. So you can have 35 iron bars, and you can do the same 4x2 block that we did before. And then this one I've faced to the rear. And then in between these two, we're going to have a total bars of. There you go. 30 bars. There's going to be 30 bars in between those ones. So that works. So you've got 35 bars from there, 30 bars from here. And then I've just got that one there. Again, you have your 4x2 there. And this one's facing the front. So yeah, you can put those in. It doesn't matter if you get them wrong. It doesn't matter at all. That's just where I put mine in. So yeah, you can see that I've just put in the, the kind of like feet here. So you could always stop this part. Just put in the, the 4x2 on those different sections and then watch this over again. Anyway, on to the last bit. We're getting there. So um, this should be quite quick, I think. I, I can't see this taking a long time. So we're going to do probably just do the main box of it really, really quickly and, and roughly. And then these extensions, they're very, very simple. It's a very easy uh, tower system for this one. So let's go on to that. Okay, and now for the main tower, the last bit. Well, it's quite easy. We're going to be using white wool for this. So the first thing I'm going to do, which I need to have a look. So I'm going to look what the first thing we're doing. Oh, it's right next to it. That's fine. Uh, so we're just going to go from here. Um, what are we going to do? I go 11. Sorry. I'm going nuts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this is actually going to be, well, pretty much straight back. There's a little bit of an extra bit, but we're just going to we're going to box it for the time being. I think it's going to be easier to do it that way. So there we go. It's got a really thin walkway on this one. Uh, this is going to be a total of 13 high, so you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You'll just, oh, also, <laughs> good God. You'll also notice that this grey here is just normal. This is actually going to be behind it. It's like, it's like this extra little wall type section, like a guard, I don't know. I'm not really too sure, but if we just do this quickly. I'm going to be using world edit, yep. So I'm just going to do set 35. And I'm just going to do a, a complete box on this. There we go. And the same on the back as well. It may mean we have little bits of extra bits, but uh, it doesn't matter too much, to be honest. All right, there we go. So we get this ridiculously white thing. Uh, in the actual top floor here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a floor. So that floor is... There we go, like that. Light grey. So that's where your light grey is. This is actually the top of the, the whole tower piece. Now if you come to the back, what we're going to do is we find the middle and we should be able to find the middle. I'm going to use blue possibly for this as well. Uh, but if you just go out three blocks or if you just go place a block down. Okay, let's do it this way. Place a block down, add two to the side, then go one, two, three on the side if that makes sense. So you go two to the side, then go two, three. Then you should have Three blocks going out like that, and then it just goes across the back. This is the smokestack. So this is going to be a total of 17 high. Yep, 17 high. So we go one, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So again, I'm going to do the quick, nice, easy way out. So, ooh, is it 11? Yeah, it is. Good. <laughs> I know my IDs. <laughs> there we go. So, do this. Sorry for you guys that have had to pause. Uh, this is why I welded it's a lot better. Just trying to keep these videos short so that they can get to you guys in really good time. Okay. Then once you've got that, what you're going to do is we're going to have an extra one here and an extra two here. Like that. And then we're just going to be down one block. And then you're going to put a never brick fence here and never brick fence there. And that is it for the actual smoke tower. So we've actually got that in there. We've got the main bulk of the uh, the thing, the thing, <laughs> yep, the thing. Um, so that was pretty easy, wasn't it? Well, it was with it anyway. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the details in. We'll start with the back pieces uh, and work our way up. Uh, we can finish off with the windows. Okay, now for the back details on the ship. So, find the middle. And actually, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Mm. I like having a cape, though. I just don't like this cape. Um, Anyway, what am I talking about? Right, so what we need to do is we need to have five going across. We need to place down one here, I think. Yeah, it is here. Let's place one just one block away from the, the stack. And then we're just going to add four to each side. One, two, three, four. And then build that into the wall. I'll give you five going across here. One, two, three, four, five, which is well, correct. So one, two, three, four. And then build that going across like that. Now, this will actually go five high. So you've got one, two, three, four, and five. Two, three, four, five. And build this across. There we go. And you're just gonna build this up. So if you wanted to, you could get rid of this smokestack on the inside as well as this inner wall. Um, you can also leave it in there because if you're doing it properly, then you actually want the smoke to come out of there. So it's up to you. Uh, grab your light grey wall as well. Put that in here. So there we go. Like that. Next, what you're gonna do? is, no, I can't remember if it's on this side, yeah, it is on that side, okay. So right here, if you just follow this line, you're going to go out from this point, and then just join it in, like that. It kind of creates this extension, so then we can take out this, we can then put in the floor as well. It's the same on the other side as well, so if we just jump across from here, grab this all the way to there, and then put that in. So if you guys can't see it, it's a little bit glary, at least at the minute, but it will get better, don't worry. There we go, so then we get this, um, like section like that. And they're going to leave a free block gaps, gap, so go one, two, three, and they're going to do the same thing, so it's on the fourth. And it goes exactly the same for this one. So it's on the top here, you've got a free block gap, like that. Then fill that in as well, like this. And same on the other side as well, so here. There, and then fill this in. There we go, fill that up. Right, so to the next part, that's just going to be at the top. It's going to go out two blocks and then bring this in. So it's one block shorter than the last one that we did. Uh, and this time you don't fill it in, I don't think. No, you don't. You don't fill it in at all. Uh, so this is just for a guardrail for the last set of stairs. There we go, fill that up. Now grab your stone stairs. I'm going to have to have a quick peek because I've forgotten already. There we go. So <laughs> what you need to do is right here... Cut out, and I've used stone stairs for these, so you're going to go to here, and then to there. Then I put in an upside down set of one, of one there, and just have normal stairs going oh, down like this. Hopefully that makes sense. So you've got just normal stairs there, and then you can do upside downs on these if you want to, uh, which gives a nice interesting look like that. So we'll see on the other side, just cut out this one, put in one there, goes down, this one is upside down, and you've got these just going normal. Down to this point, and then upside downs in whoop, there. <laughs> upside downs in there. Uh, so it just kind of gives you this little interesting feature there, I guess. I, I think that's why I did it. But anyway, grab your iron bars, put these on on the white lines that we got. And going around these points. Oh, not there. There. There we go. So now we've got a nice little guard rail. So as you can actually get from the bottom of the ship. And walk down here, you can stroll down and stuff. It's kind of cool. I think it's very cool. Um, now next, what you're going to do, you're going to have one block gap from here. So on the next level, one block gap here, and we're just going to walk these up. I'm going to break through where we need to until we get to here. 
and then the same thing is going to happen here. So we've got one block gap and it goes up to here and then this is where we have one piece of grey and another piece of grey there. So what we get is these. Now you can't do upside downs on these. You can do upside downs on this one um, but you can't do it on the other one so I just left it. The reason you can't do it on the other one because you need to walk underneath it and then you get stuck. So there you go. You see that. So that's why I didn't do that. But um, you can at least do that there. So if we do the same on the other side walk up this one, get to see the smokestack, give you one block and then go up like this Cut out these, cut out that one, go up, there we go. Do the same, go to here, put your stairs on. Like that. And then this one needs a light grey block, that one needs a light grey block. That gives us this little back section, now we need to rail it. Like this, uh, off, the, off this part, let's just go up to here. Let's just go up to there, let's just go up to that point, shall we? Because um, we've got the actual bridge section in a second. So there we go. That is the stairway, so that means that we can walk all the way from these steps all the way up to the top. That's pretty cool. So let's get onto the bridge section because it's um that's nice and easy. Okay, so quickly we're just gonna put in the doors, so come to the back. Now where we've got these like weird stairs, uh, just go into one block here, put one in there. We've got the stairs here, put in one block here. Oh, not one block, one it's one door. I don't know, I, it's getting late now. It's getting very late. I want to get this done so I can edit it and <laughs> get it up. Uh, so it's all good. I mean, HD. Anyway, put that in there as well. So we've got those on the same size. There's, there's doors. I know people sometimes like uh, to know where to roughly put them. So hopefully that helps. Uh, I really do hope that helps. Anyway, what we're going to do now is going to add two blocks here. And I think this is by three, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Which one is? Yeah, it is. So we're just going to go one, two, three, and then just have a step down there. And then if you grab your blue stained glass or something like that, it's like a light, some sort of lights. You could you could use glowstone. I just use glass instead to show coloured lights, I guess. Um, yeah. Same on the other side anyway. One, two, one, two, one, two, and then one underneath. Then uh, all there. Blue, blue there. Like that, because that's cool. Anyway, grab your green wool. And we're just going to move outwards, just up this. And let's go straight across. Rup, straight across. Like that. And then just goes free. One, two, three. And then go straight across the back as well. So just drag this across the back. Uh, there is a little bit of a different change bit at the end, but um, we're going to do that in a second. We're actually going to just get this basic part done like this. And now we're going to have a look at it. So it's five by nine. So it's nine wide. So we need to find the middle. Uh, we just need to go one, two, three, four, five. So it'll give a one block gap here. And add four, one, two, three, four. And this in white wool. One, two, three, four. And that should go one, two, three, four, five. In total showing. So you get one, two, three, four, and five. This just goes to two high. It's really tiny compared to the other bit anyway. And this has actually got a stone slab ceiling. So put that in. There you go. Like this, and there. There we go, like that. Okay, and then you can cut out those bits. And we're going to go one, two, three. So we're going to make this three high. Like this. Nice and simple. I think the glass goes all the way around. Yeah, it does. We'll, we'll do that in a second. But um, yeah, just do it solid for the time being. It's just a little bit more cool to do it this way, isn't it? No, it's not, but it's easier, I think. Is it a top? It's solid top. Okay. <laughs> I'm just talking to myself now. See, I've got lots of this in my head, but um, sometimes it disappears by the time I get there. So there we go. If we just join this across then, and if we just fill in this roof as well, so that with that colour, whatever colour you've gone for. I've gone for green because that's my main colour. Uh, the one over on the other side, I've gone for blue because that's the main blue colour there. You don't have to do this. You can do any other colours. Uh, this just makes a very small one. It is quite a small ship, this one, actually. Way too high, that's really tiny, isn't it? But, oh well, yeah, I think some of my other ones have got bigger bridges. Uh, but this one's fine. Uh, we need a door in, so if we go for the door here, I'll give you a door. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. There we go. That'll give you the door. Grab some glass of some sorts. I'm actually going to use one of the metadata ones uh, of mine. 
because I prefer it. But uh, normal glass will work, you know. Mine obviously tiles like this and wraps around and, and does fancy stuff. Uh, I'm actually going to use 20 cut on 4, I think. Nope, that's not the one. 20 cut on 3 then. 20 cut on 3, there we go. Which is this one. And just go across the middle part of this. And you can see that I'm just using the world edit brush. This is world edit that, that can do this because you can basically well, literally brush onto it. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Oh. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So that'll give you your big ass window. <laughs> really big. Pretty cool though. Uh, so we've got some sensor stuff to do that I'll have to have a look at quickly. Uh, really close to the end though, but now at least you can you can look out over the ship and you can see what kind of view you get from here, which is freaking amazing. I think these side bits, by the way, are so that when you have got the containers, you can't really see around the sides at all, so at least you can have a look. Um, but yeah, there's that. Let's get this sensor part on. Oh, actually first, fill in these vine bars. And join this up, we can also go across these bits as well, just to here. Not there. There. And go across this bit. There we go. Cool. So that that's really good. So you can do that. Cool. Let's, let's go on to the sensor. Okay, and now for the main antenna sensory type thing. I'm actually just going to grab this as well. So I need to get my... There we go. I can't replace a stick with... Uh... What's it called on it? Pens. Oh, that's wrong. That one. Three. It's one. God damn it. I can't remember my own meta data in my pack. Anyway, what we're going to do is, if you grab your light grey wall, we're going to go into here, we're going to have a cross. So build a cross, and then put in light grey wall, and add two more. Like that. Then right in the middle, what you're going to do is going to add eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Grab your cobblestone wall, if you haven't got this, use liver brick fence or something, and you're going to go up by five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now on top of this, you're going to have three pieces of fence. So I'm going to use the metallic one, like that. Now we need to figure out where I'm actually going to be going now. So right in the middle, you're going to add two. One, two, two, two. God damn it, it doesn't behave, does it? So you've got two just going out onto that, like the, on the sides. Now down here, you're going to add two. One, two, one, two. Leave a two block gap and add three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Now down here, I've done something a bit weird got one slab here and I've got a slab here like that <laughs> and then on that I've got a cobblestone wall cobblestone slab and then add two on each side and builds a little sense like that uh, I can't really remember where the next one is okay it's one bug down so if we go down to here we go the same we're gonna go two this time you're gonna go one two and then this one's gonna have a two as well because it forwards a little bit and then you have the same that one there this on top add two of them like that. Now on the base here you're just going to build up this back piece. You could build it up on all four sides. I actually think it looks better on all four, all four sides. Um, but that is it for the sensor. It's a little bit of a weird one to be honest. I think it's probably my own design. <laughs> to be honest it looks a bit weird. Um, but that is it for the uh, sensor. So we've got windows. And that is it. Windows. Just it. Cool. Let's do it. Okay so this one is ridiculously simple. It's actually only the side that actually has it on it. So what we're going to do is if we go to the side, where we've got the floor here, uh, we're just going to find the middle of this floor, basically. And did I do it on the side there? I just did it in a weird place. I'm going to do it differently. Uh, we're actually going to leave two of these. Then we're going to go to this one. We're going to go one, one, one. And if we go down to the next floor, just follow the same thing. One, one, one. And then do another one. And that actually works out really evenly. I'll show you what happens on the inside. Now, this bottom floor is actually one block bigger than the rest. So you've got a four. Uh, basically, if you're going to do floors, right, find where your, your doors are, where I've told you to put the doors. You'll get three blocks here, you'll get three blocks for this one, and then on the bottom you get four blocks, so it's nice and big. So, four windows, what does that mean? Well, we're just going to do a double window instead. Right here, we're going to do double, and do double, do double, and do double. Pretty easy, right? That's it. That, that's all we need to really do. You could also do a window here, maybe, uh, and a window here, and... Not there, because we've got a door. But, let's do that. So, it doesn't really matter too much. You can put a window in there. No, you can... Don't put a window in there. Now let's grab the meta again. God damn it. I've seen a problem with the uh, stick of coolness. So you can have one there. Have one there. On the sides, leave two of these. Go one, 
one, one. And then down to this one. One, one, one. One. No. One. There we go. From there. And then we get a double. So here, 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 here. Now, you can also do windows on the front, of course. Uh, if you're going to do that, just follow this line across. Let's leave two here. And we're just going to do dots across here. So I'll try this out. We'll do a different variant of, of this one. Um, I just remembered we actually do have more to do on this ship. <laughs> I know. We've got the uh, writing to on the side. I'll show you where to put that, or roughly, or how to do it, or whatever. Um, there we go. We've got that. I'm going to leave one, two, three. Where's this one go? This one goes up here. So this one will now be single windows. So you could do that. There we go. So you can do windows in there if you want to. That that looks better actually. Um, at least in Minecraft, even if it doesn't look better and it's not realistic or whatever, it looks better in Minecraft, and that's what we're doing. I know some people do go like, "Oh, it's not realistic, man." But at the same time, you go, "Well, it doesn't look cool, though, does it?" Hmm. And we are making planes out of blocks and ships out of blocks. Not exactly realistic to make them out of wool. So yeah, there you go. Got nice little windows. So that'll give you nice windows. So the reason we did the two thing... Uh, no, we're not going to have a window there. The reason we did the two blocks on the outside is just so that we get these nice corners. It means you can put in, when you do interior design, which I'm sure you guys do with all my ships, um, do interior design. Uh, you're going to go here, you'll do... I don't know, something. Like a lamp. Let's, let's grab a lamp. Uh, you know, Maybe if you did this, you can now fit those in. It's perfectly in with the windows. Otherwise, you'd have the window right here and there, and it, it's kind of ugly as hell. So, yeah, that's why I moved them over. I just think it looks better, personally. That's that's what I think, and it gives you that corner piece to put in like lamps and things. So, yeah, quite cool. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the writing. Now, I can't remember what I did on the back. Did I do it out of light gray? I did. I just did an A and an R. So, because this is called Artemis. Or the kind of class, rush class I've done. Uh, called it Artemis. I've just gone down one block. So, well, whatever your name is. Whatever the name of your ship's going to be. We'll call this one the TED. We're going to call this one the TED. And we're going to do it as TD. So, find the middle of your ship. Right, so there's your middle. You don't want to touch this line. But you do want to go onto here. So, you're going to go 1, 2, 3 for T. And 1. And I usually do 3 by 5. So, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's going to be your... Letter, then we're going to do the D here, so you can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there, 1, 2, 3, and with the letters, um, you have to kind of try it out, so you go, tud, tud, <laughs> okay, and now what you need to do is find a nice place, now I just I just chose that place at random, totally honest, that's how, that's how I did mine, I'm going to choose mine here, uh, how many blocks does I go down, just one block, okay, so we go down one block, I'm going to write TED, and this time I'm going to do it in white writing, so I did grey on the back and white here, so we're going to just go this, one, two, three, four, five. Go down here as well. And this, I'm going to do it in capitals, so this is the TED. Didn't I call the last one happy or something? Oh god, god. Yeah, this is why I, I grabbed names from uh, Greek mythology. There we go, so then we've got the TED. This is the TED. Um, we're now going to go onto the other side, we're going to grab this letter as such, we're going to I'm going to basically follow this line. I'm going to find it on the other side. I'm going to line it up so it's here, but then I'm going to twist around. It's going to be where the D is. So now you've got to figure it out backwards. Now, this might be a little bit difficult for some of you, but you might. You should be able to do it. You should be able to do it, I believe in you. So we've got the D, and now we need to do the E. There we go. And now we've got a T. And there we go, that's Ted. We've just made the cargo ship Ted. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to quickly jump onto my server. And I'm even going to show you this, all the servers I've got, like Hypixel and Ravand and Wok. <laughs> Huntington, freaking awesome city. Anyway, let's go over to here. Let's have a look at what I did. So slash warp UC CS. Uh, let's go for Prometheus. <laughs> that's the biggest one. So the biggest one that I've got, this is probably the best example ship. So this is another completely different cargo ship that I've got. But these are the cargo containers that I've got on it. So you can see, they work out really nice. Um, this is of course about five times the size of the ship we just did, but there will be a tutorial for this one in time. Uh, so all I did for the cargo containers is just 
grab a load of different colours. Now with my texture pack, if you have Optifine, um, if you're in an ocean biome, which we are, all the different types of clay, except for blue and green, will be cargo container textures um, in the cl coloured clay, so that's pretty cool. But what you need to do is just basically randomise, you need to just grab a load of them, and just randomise them, and shove them on, miss out little chunks and things uh, every so often, so this was like a solid block, and then I just cut out a couple of them. Uh, if we go to another one, uh, people probably remember the Apollo. It's not like that, is it? Is it a single P? Yes, yeah, single P for that. So you remember the Apollo, this has got less colours in it, but there you go, you can see that there's bits chipped out of it, uh, or chipped out of all of it. Nice and simple. So that's another way you can do things. Uh, if we actually go and see the Artemis, uh, this is actually my first ship here. Oh, yeah. That's not actually looking too bad. Um, there we go, so then you start getting those as well. So you can see that I've just got these. Now, how many have I stacked on the Artemis itself? I've gone one, two, three, and then that one. That's the fourth. So, I've got three stacks mainly, and then there's just four. And that will give you your line of sight there, so I wouldn't go past four. Uh, just have three stacks. And the way that I've done it is I've just gone one block in. And I've got them here. One, two, three, four, five. So there's five of them. Five of them in total by three. So you've got three high. Uh, shove a load on the top. Like that. And that's what you need to do. So that's how that works. So that's what you need to really do for that one. And who the hell's that person? So yeah, that's how you actually do it. You just shove them onto the top. Pretty cool. Pretty easy. Um, these containers are actually... Let's have a look. Size-wise. These are the same ones that will work with Zarius' uh, lorries and things. They are 13 blocks wide, 4 blocks high, and 3 blocks wide. So that's how I've done them. 3 wide, and 13 long, and 5 high. So, pretty cool. Okay, and you get to go into these. So yeah. What do you think about that? Pretty cool. But uh, well done for completing the tutorial on the Artemis. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one.